Mongolia's government is now under pressure over its handling of the coronavirus pandemic. Protests have forced the prime minister and several top officials to quit. This comes amid a backdrop of growing public dissatisfaction with the country's economic situation and a lack of jobs. Terence Edwards has more from Ulaanbaatar. I'm standing where demonstrators dressed in bathrobes and slippers in Mongolian winter defeated a seemingly unbeatable government that just last June won by a landslide in elections. Patience is running thin in Mongolia with its heavy-handed COVID-19 lockdown and restrictions. That includes a ban on the border, service sector workers being asked to stay home without any cash assistance, and restricted travel into the country, leaving some stranded and homeless. Anger reached a boiling point this week when a viral video seemingly showed a woman being asked to leave a maternity hospital at night in just a bathrobe and slippers. Protests followed the next day with demonstrators in solidarity wearing bathrobes and slippers, asking for the resignation of top officials. And that came from Mongolia's health minister, but Mongolia's prime minister said, no, we've had enough. He resigned, ending his government. And Terence joined us now from the capital. Terence, what's happening there? Give us the latest. Hi. So Mongolia at this point has seen its prime minister resign last week following protests for the COVID-19 response. We have a new appointee, appointee for the next prime minister. And from Monday, we'll be waiting for confirmation from the parliament. In terms of COVID, I thought the number of cases were relatively low, right? I think two recorded deaths so far. Why are people so angry? Mongolia has done really well with its COVID-19 case numbers, but at the cost of really strict uh, lockdown procedures. Mongolians were asked to stay at home for weeks at a time, leaving many without any work, especially service sector workers such as waitresses, hairdressers, that kind of thing. And there was a viral video that spread. And I, my understanding is that viral video was just the last straw. Now, I can't verify the details of that video, but protesters went to demonstrate under the belief that that woman had just given birth and was leaving the maternity hospital uh, without any kind of, uh, she was in a bathrobe and slippers, so no coat, parka like I have on right now. And the temperatures were, as I recall, even colder than they were right now. And I'm standing with my parka hood and my scarf. So what's next for the government? What does this instability mean for Mongolia? So it's important to remember this is an election year for the presidential office. There is a cynical take on this that the prime minister was actually lining up his ducks in a row to make a campaign for president when Mongolians are set to hit the ballot boxes this summertime. The president was mentioned in the prime minister's resignation speech. He accused the president of having a hand in some of these protests. Now, I was at those protests. It looked very authentic and organic to me, but we should always remember with protests that anyone can join with any agenda. So there is that on the table as well.